Hello and welcome to the third tutorial about Liptisch. My name is Norbert Wiedermann and I am your host for this video. I am going to explain to you how you can connect your Kinect motion sensor with our Tisch library on a Windows 7 system. In this video I am going to cover the following points. I will give some brief words about the necessary software to get your Kinect running, how to make Liptisch and Kinect work together, and finally, I'm going to show you my setup and some examples. So well, first of all, you need to get your Kinect working with your Windows PC. For that, you need drivers to communicate with the hardware. I recommend to follow the steps described at this web page. Basically, you need these two additional libraries, libUSB, and pthread. The GLAD library is only necessary if you want to run the examples that come along with the Kinect drivers. Here you can see the web page I just mentioned. Read the steps described there to install and set up your Kinect to work with your PC. I won't go into detail about installing all that stuff because everything was quite straightforward following their instructions. Just one word on that. I'm using libusb win32 bin in version 1.2.5.0 and note this annotation here. And for pthread I'm using the pre-built version that comes along with the download. After you have installed libfreenect, you can start to connect it to your Liptis installation. For this tutorial, I assume you already have installed Liptis version 2, as described in the second tutorial. If not so, please check that tutorial first and get the Tisch library files from our SVN. Before we can start, we have to set some paths to integrate libfreenect to libtisch. First of all, we have to provide the include folder and that you can set quite easily by opening liptisch 2.0 scripts, column props in a text editor and find the following statement. Here you can see my liptisch 2.0 folder and I find the common props in the folder scripts and open it with a text editor. Here you can see the location I have to put the path to the include folder of libfreenect. So in my case libfreenect is installed in Kinect libfreenect and here you find the include folder. Now copy the path and insert it here and save the new file. Next thing is to create a copy of lusbo underscore usb.h file in the include folder of libusb. So libusb I also have extracted in the Kinect folder. I open the subfolder and find here include. And all I did is I copied this file and renamed it to usb.h. Then you can go ahead and start a project file liptisch underscore Visual Studio 2010 in your Visual Studio. You find a project file in the liptisch 2.0 folder. Just right click and open it. We also have to add some path for the libgestures project. Select the project from the left hand side and go to its properties. Find here the option 
vc++ directories and library directories. Add the path to the libraries for libUSB, libFreeNet and pthread. Click Apply and accept the settings. In order to get LibTish compiled using LibFreeNet, you first should adjust the following paths. So first of all, make sure you have Select Release Mode. And then we start by opening the properties of LibSimpleCV And here we select C, C++. In additional libraries, we have to add the path to the include folder of pthread and libusb. Second, we have to provide the library path for the linker. Select linker. And here also additional directories. Insert the path for libusb, pthread and libfreenect as well. In the last step, we have to change some settings for the TouchD project as well. So here we are in Visual Studio again. Find the TouchD project on the left hand side. Right click and select Options and Properties. Find C++ and find the additional include directories. Provide here the path to the pthread include folder. So the very last step is find C++ preprocessor and insert here in the definitions, the code word has free necked. Click OK, apply and OK, and now you are done. There are only two steps left. 
First, recompile libtish, now with Kinect support enabled, and second, copy the free NEC DLL to your release folder. So, okay, we start with the compilation. This will take some time and I will pause the recording. So, after that has finished, you have to copy the FreeNAC DLL to your release folder where all your libtish files have been built. You find the FreeNAC DLL in your FreeNAC installation, in the binaries, and here in the release. Copy the FreeNAC DLL and insert it in the release folder of your libtish. Now we are prepared for some libtish Kinect action. First we have to connect the Kinect to our computer. Second, we have to start the daemon to recognize the touches with the Kinect config file from the repository. Then we have to generate a calibration for the current setting using the Calib tool. Having that, we start the Calib daemon with the just created calibration and then finally we can start our application. To give you an impression how that all looks like, I will demonstrate that now. But before we head to the demonstration, please make sure that you have copied the FreeNAC DLL and the FreeCLAT DLL to your release folder. Here you can see the setup I'm using for this demo. I have mounted the Kinect on a microphone stand. The distance to the table surface is approximately one and a half meter. Now I connect the Kinect to my laptop and start the touch daemon using the Kinect config file from the repository. Then I have to adjust the region of interest by using the area filter. I can reset the area filter and give a new area Then I also have to reset the background subtraction filter. Next I start the calibration for the Calib daemon. This sheet of paper will represent my working space afterwards. I have to tap each corner to get their positions. Having that, I can start the Calib daemon and then the demo application. I switch to full screen with F. Now you can see, by tapping and moving my fingers on the working space, the boxes are moved on the screen. Of course, you also can use a monitor as working surface so you can directly see the results of your manipulations. You have to make sure that nothing blocks the field of view of the cameras in the Kinect, otherwise tracking is not possible. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have had some fun and learned something new. I am your host Norbert Wiedermann and I hope to welcome you back in the next tutorial. Enjoy using your Kinect with Liptisch. Thank you and goodbye.